Yeah. You was at the 1995 Social Wars, right? Yeah. Give me the backstory in a play-by-play of everything that went down at the Social Wars prior to that and just everything that went down that whole entire day. Okay. Um, I do remember, man, my naiveness because um, I was there and uh, I do remember that Biggie came in and sat down and I was going to get up and go tell Biggie I like your work. And that would have been a big, big mistake, man. I, that's just how much I didn't know about this, the, this rivalry thing going. I, I was there for music. I wasn't really there for all of the, but I remember him sitting down and I was going to get up and go say, man, I like your work. Now, two things could have happened. I had a suit on and I had a hat made that said death row. Now, going over to him, maybe one of his guys would have stopped me. Hey, what's, what's up? You know, going up to, to, to Biggie. But if they if he didn't, going back, they would have asked me, if Dev Rose sitting over there with Sugna, what you say to Biggie? And if I'd have told him, well, I just told him I really appreciate his work. I really like his work. I think Dev Rose would have got with me. I probably wouldn't have made it back. You know, so I didn't realize just how real it really was with, with this. And then uh, Sugar did the um, thing when he took the stage. And man... The thunder that was in there when he said that um, if you want a, a, a CEO and you don't want him dancing all in the videos and jumping around like that. When he said that, bro, I thought the whole Madison Square Garden was going to get us, bro. I thought the whole Madison Square Garden could do it. It was loud in there. And so when you watch it on TV, you can't appreciate just how thunderous it became when that happened, and I remember going back to, with the, we were getting everybody back to the van, I mean, to the um, to the limos. I remember Shug telling us a couple of times while we were there, everybody, I don't care what your role was, everybody a bodyguard. You know, in other words, people like uh, Snoop and people who had names, we were there to make sure they made it to the car and they were safe. I don't care what your role was supposed to be. You, you Okay, producer, okay, you, you right now you're a bodyguard. You know, okay. So I remember uh, Heavy D, Wu Tang, and them, they, them helping us get, like, walking us out, you know, not, you know, not, you know, they were escorting, they were walking with us when we went to our cars. And um, it, it was really, it was really, uh, it was really, that, that you're talking about tension. Now, that was tension. That was tension. We sitting in the, inside in, the, in that Madison Square Garden, and he said that up there on stage, man, that, that place is, it's not like they're going to tear that place up, man. Yeah, man, and um, and you seen Mary J. Blige while y'all was in New York for the 95 Social Wars, right? Yeah, I saw her at the, um, the Ritz Hotel in the lobby with with some other young ladies. So it, was, it was brief, you know, it was brief. I was at Shug's, um, it, it, where where Suge's room was, Suge and Danny Boy had a room there, and um, I was there. I probably went to go hang out with Danny Boy, and then um, Mary J showed up with some other young ladies in the lobby. That's all I know. Right, and um, Mary J Blige, she used to hang out around Canon Studios, right? It was like um, an extended part of the family because. Mary J and Jodeci, you know, uh, they would both be there. They would, they would, uh, Jodeci was, was, was around there often. Um, Mary J came periodically. She come there, you know, it was beyond my, what me knowing what the, the whole thing was. I'm just, but yeah, she was there. She was there. You had any interaction with her? Okay. I walked in the studio uh, one day, you know, I walked in the studio A and she was in there with Danny Boy and they were writing a song and they seemed to be stumped on a line. And I came out. I remember Suge telling me this. He told me and Tyrone this. Tyrone has hurt him bad. OK. He told us this. He said, man, it's shameful if you if the only thing you could say is I was in the room when somebody was writing a hit, but. You didn't suggest nothing. He said a foot stamp or a foot stump or a hand clap or an or the or butt. You can't, 
you you don't suggest nothing. He said, well, they in there making millions. And you can, the only thing you could say, I was right there when they did it. But you didn't even try to get nothing in. And I really believe that, you know. So when I when I went in there with, with uh, Mary J and Danny Boy, I was doing just that. I heard they were stumped on the line. I gave them a line. Mary seemed to approve of it. Danny Boy, he was in one of his moods. And he said, we already thought of that. And I could tell he wasn't really messing with me at that moment, you know, because he sometimes he's on and off with that kind of, you know, he was a young guy, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I said, I, I gave him a line. I suggested a line. I see he really wasn't going to welcome me into the writing session. This was him and her. Did you see Faith Evans around k Studios? I saw Faith Evans one night. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. This is strange because... Uh, the night Faith was there, from the time I come in, the secu you know, we have a, a little security part when you come into uh, Can-Am. And uh, from the time I get in, I get past security, get up to Studio A, and everybody, the seconds, you know what they call them, second second engineers, the seconds and the, and the runners, and everybody's telling me, Faith Evans back there with Pop. Pop got Faith Evans back there. And I'm like, ain't no way. This this Billy wife. You know, I said, man, y'all kidding. I'm thinking, because, man, we, we did all kind of pranks there, bro. So I'm thinking this is one of them. No way Faith was back there. So what I do, I, um, I act like I needed a wire out of Studio B. You know, I, I go in, and the minute I walk in to the left, it's Pac and Faith sitting and they all up on each other. Now they ain't no they on each other lap, but they, you know, he all in her business. And she looked like she enjoying the business. So um uh I walk right past him. But I, I guess I'm kind of speaking. I'm like, wow, that is Faith. You know, so I go to the back and I grab these wires, put them around my head, and I go to leave like that's what I came for. And um she stopped me. She said, Excuse me, what's your name? What's your name again? I said, Dora Harden. She said, oh. Then I got in the hallway. I started thinking, what was she want my name? I think she wanted to know who it was that saw her there or that knew, you know, who she, who did she just now meet? You know, because I, I was probably smirking, you know, when after I passed by them to go grab that wild. I was probably in the studio like, this is fake over here with, you know, with Pop, you know, like, oh, man. So, yeah, that was I don't know what happened after, or it, I know he didn't discuss with me any any other particulars. But um, yeah, they, 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 it was some magic going on there when I went back there that night. So when you seen them, they was all on each other. Man, they was right up on each other. You know, he was Pac was being Pac. She was being Pacized right there. I'm like walking in, and they, you know, it was on. I didn't need I didn't need to anybody for anybody to define that moment for me. I knew I, I'm gr I'm a grown ass man. I understand what's going on. I like the father's is being pop, you know, and uh, she enjoying it. So um, yeah, that's it was just simple and fast. But I I went back there because I had to know if these was jiving or what, man. Yeah. What, what was their reaction when they seen you? Tupac and Faith Evans reaction when they Okay, Pac spoke. Pac spoke. She don't know me. So she don't know she don't know what I'm there for or nothing. But I that's that's why I really believe that she caught like the smirks as I passed. As Pac said, when Pac said, What's up, DR? It was a Pac and Woo. And I walked right back there to grab the wires. I think she's Wait a minute, who is this dude? You know? So when I go out the door, hey, excuse me, what was your name again? I said, I'm Dora Harper. <laughs> you know, I left. But uh, I think she just wanted to know who I was, who, who, who had just came in and saw them sitting there. You know, she wanted to know who the person was. That's all.